little paradise lodge. My pen frozen against the daggers of Annapurna's. On an oblong shipless plank chopped from a sandalwood tree trunk and used as a table, I place my elbow, elbows and hold my face in my hands. Blinding, blinding snows of the Annapurna ridge mutually shining in the eye of my mind. I sit in the spacious courtyard of your paradise lodge, deciphering shrill notes of birds in the mossy trees. One bird initiates a lilting note like our meeting, while others let loose a racket of breath vessels ending with question tags. Can I stay longer, at least one more day, in your little paradise lodge? Two birds playing in a crimson cherry tree steer a chord that seems like opening up of the blossoms of her bodies. Would you take me away and marry me? But what about this electric whistle? This cigara's constant cheer, cheer, cheer. The struggle of our breathless bodies against the dark suit of the night. The pigeons strutting freely in your courtyard, cool like exhausted porters climbing the mule paths in the singing gorges. Their guttural quent quent qua, quent quent qua, quent quent qua. They seem to be using a human language, a kind of hush speech robbers might use. Love, in the courtyard of your little paradise lodge, I see silence turning flowers into daggers. A herd of cows shuffles past me in a joyous mood, festive like young girls going to a hillside fair, saying, don't you go away, brother, don't you go away, we would be back until dusk with presents. A cuckoo passes overhead, is to sing ka, ka, ka. Please, do not leave me alone. I'm utterly alone, stuck on the last mountain of the world. And beyond me, just one more mountain, where they say a deity lives, guarding a tiny Turkish lake. And thereafter, nothing but realm of melting snows, where souls of the gods live.